Modern Minuteman system, bringing something that was once old into the new world. Let's get into this. Okay guys, so today we're gonna be talking about my Modern Minuteman system. So we're gonna break this into three different parts. First looking at the kit, then what's on the body, and then lastly, the firearms. Now before we jump into the kit, I wanna quickly get into the whole Minuteman system. And a lot of people think that that term just simply has to do with the with the revolutionary war and having militia men ready at the ready for some antiquated or some long forgotten war against a neighboring country or a country we were trying to gain independence from and while that was a true use of militia men if you do any research at all you'll find that the minuteman actually existed actually over a hundred years before the revolutionary war ever took place and they saw fights in more or they saw fighting in more than just the revolutionary war but actually the french indian war and other smaller battles it's about having the proper setup for a for a short distance short period small engagement between you and whoever is attacking you your town or whatever. Oftentimes this could be modernly applied to events such as natural disasters where looters, where the worst of the society are coming out to strike havoc or wreak havoc and strike and prey upon innocent civilians that do not have the capability to defend themselves. And oftentimes that historically was how the Minuteman militias were formed or why they were formed is because there were still large portions of females and people, even men, who didn't have firearms who didn't know how to use firearms proficiently and Indians and others would prey upon those people and take them down, burn their houses and do that type of thing to them. So having an armed civilian body that can guard against that at a moment's notice is very important because even as our founding fathers and others of that time saw, you know, militaries, policing forces are great, but they're hard to turn. They're like a large boat, and it's hard to send a military or a police force after someone causing havoc because that person who is causing havoc will have likely already gone and accomplished what they wanted to accomplish by the time that uh, larger force arrives. So the primary reason why this militia concept or this Minuteman system is developed is to be that immediate guard so that if people are immediately looting, if people are immediately going out and attacking, you have the ability to defend yourself against those individuals. Get off with probably the least interesting thing, though I'm going to keep this one short, is the Camelback Lynchpin. Now this is what I would consider my kind of modern day haversack or battle bag or campaign bag. And once again, as I did some research on it and learned a little bit more about what exactly Minutemen used because sometimes they were on campaign trails and sometimes the fighting was more than just immediate, you know, done and over with. They were prepared usually for anywhere from a day or they had to be prepared anywhere from a day to three days and they had to be able to put what they could live live with, you know, the essential food, water, shelter items in a haversack and on a bedroll or in a bedroll and in a haversack. And so they would have to have that ready for life of three days away from their house fighting. And this is a definitely modern interpretation being the camelback uh, linchpin, but it's basically your standard uh, three-day assault pack. And once again, being a three-day assault pack allows me to hold enough gear such as food, ammunition, and uh, water, different things like that, so that if I have to, this is essentially after a fight, what I go back to at the camp 
and restock my magazines that I've expended, you know, restock anything that I've used uh, in the field fighting, this is what restocks it. But at the same time, this being a small and reasonably lightweight pack, I can move it around and stay, still stay agile if I have to move for three days. So that's what this is. And like I said, the essentials to it, I'm not gonna break into this pack per se, but uh, like I said, the things that I have in here are food, shelter, uh, extra clothing, especially extra ammunition, not necessarily extra magazines, but the extra ammo to replenish the magazines once they've been spent out in any fighting. So that's the primary components to the backpack. Now I will say there isn't any water in this because as we're going to get to in just a moment, my water is somewhere else, but I do have the ability to get more water. So that is the linchpin and this is the kit. Okay, so let's start this off with first the belt, and this is the first thing on the body. It's just going to be a click belt. This is a standard duty belt because it's pretty tough, pretty rigid. It's a really good uh, belt for supporting a good amount of weight over the course of many miles because who knows whether it would be vehicle-based operations or foot-based operations. Obviously, it's changed quite a bit since the original Minuteman, where we're no longer contingent on horses and foot. You know, you could be vehicle-based, but I like to go with a good sturdy belt that doesn't have much flex in it. So on that belt, we just have two simple items. I want to try to keep this as simple as possible. Things that aren't a firearm, we'll get to firearms in a little bit, is just uh, my double magazine carrier for the Glock 19. So carrying two mags in there for the Glock. Once again, not really expecting to use the handgun a whole lot. It's more there just in case I need a couple extra reloads. So now to the main body of what's gonna be on my body. To start off, this is a Condor uh, chest rig. I forget the exact name on this one, but I like the fact this one has lots of molly attachments, which makes it a little bit more useful for what exactly I need. It also has a pretty generous sized 100 ounce um, water bladder. So like I mentioned earlier in the kit, this is going to be where I carry my water. So that's where I have most of my water. However, I do have the ability to refuel off of the backpack. So that's the back of this. Now to the left side, and I carried on the left side because um, the handgun is on the belt on the right side of this, so can't really have anything on the right side. But I, on the left side, I have a pretty comprehensive first aid kit. This is just a standard military uh, first aid kit, but with a few upgrades like an EpiPen and some like medical tape and some gauze and stuff like that. Just little upgrades to make it a little bit uh, better than just a standard first aid kit that you get from the military. So that's what's on that side. Now, flipping it over, this is pretty heavy, but flipping it over, you guys can see that this is what the front of it looks like. So once again, got the hydration bladder hose right here. So that's that. Then on the front of the rig, so on the front of the chest, so this is right around the chest area, I have the ice dagger as an emergency fixed blade or for whatever I need, if I need to cut some cord really fast or if I need to, it for self-protection, whatever reason, I just have the ice dagger conveniently right there on the chest just so that it's an easy, quick, fast draw and I always know right where it's at. So moving down, this uh, chest rig can actually support six magazines. I actually have two magazines in it right now, one in the gun. Uh, but I have two magazines here, but it can hold six magazines uh, for the AR platform rifle. And we'll get to that in just a moment. I'm sure you guys can see it off camera. But um, yeah, so basically six mags in the front. And then that's basically all I really have there. I do have a nice little uh, sheath here for whatever or just a multi-purpose pouch right now it's holding a multi-tool in it but if i needed to i could also swap that to a pistol mag if i wanted to run three magazines pistol magazines on my body but this is just a multi-purpose pouch i threw on the front of it uh, so for whatever i need to grab easily just have it right there so that's basically the uh, chest rig that i'd be wearing for this uh, Minuteman system. Okay, so lastly is going to be our 
firearm choices. Once again, keeping it very simple, just with two firearm choices. The first is on the belt, like I already alluded to, is the Glock 19. And I've already done videos on why I think this is an awesome handgun for general purpose combat, whatever happens, just a tactical situation. This is a really nice choice. Though Glock has come out with a few, you know, uh, other types of things like the 48, which is a single stack version of the Glock 19, and they've come out with the 19X, which is longer, and they've come out with like the 45, which is the like full length slide, or sorry, frame with a 19 slide. They've come out with multiple revisions of the 19, but this is my favorite version of the 19, just a standard 19. So that's what I'm running for a handgun. And then, of course, a standard, pretty standard, I should say, AR-15. This is a Aero Precision X-15 to be exact, but pretty basic. You know, got a full M-Lock rail, foregrip, you know, your typical red dot and you know pretty standard furniture on it so won't really go into this either because i've also done a video on this particular rifle setup but it's essentially just another ar-15 variant so that is the rifle of choice for me but anyways that's all for now god bless and i'm out